Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we implemented crouching, sprinting, running uh, of this character and this, this time uh, I want to work with our melee combat system but before that in order to have a combat or fight I need some another character so that means a AI character or NPC character so before starting on melee combat I'll show you how to create a simple AI character which is inherited from this current player character that means this CH human and here I had a small problem last time because of this jump function I defined here so I'll fix that first so because of this jump function there is a native jump function in Unreal as well and for this one so because of this part this jump function calls this jump function and this one again calls this one so this leads to uh, something called a uh, infinite loop so that's why whenever I try to jump it the game exit with this error so I'll fix it like this first I'll rename this to jump or dodge because uh, I can't use the name jump and also when I have this combat system I need a dodging function which will be assigned to the space bar as well so jumping and dodging will be controlled by same thing therefore I'll use this name and compile it so that instead of this one I'll put jump dodge right for now there is only jump no dodging but it will fix this problem so yeah now again I can jump all right so let's start with the AI character first this is our human character and if I am going to inherit another character with this one if I inherit another character from this same class I will inherit this spring arm and this camera as well which is not required for the other characters so therefore I'll do something like this first these are the parts that handles mouse input and also I don't have anything any references of this camera or this spring arm in my code so I'll make a duplicate of this class first right and I'll go here and delete this spring arm and the camera right okay so now in our character there is no more a camera so if I try to play it it will be like this so this is I am in like inside the character and no camera because this happens there is no spring arm component okay now I'll create a child blueprint class from this one like this and I'll call this ch player the reason to inherit is because uh, these all are going to be human characters enemies so NPCs so everything is going to be a human character therefore I only have to do the changes I only have to implement stuff like fighting jumping running and everything 
in this character and all the inherited characters will have the same behaviors other than the overridden functions okay so now this is the player and here I will put back the camera component so I have already made a duplicate and I'll go here and copy them and go here and paste them right so I don't need this duplicated class anymore so I'll delete it okay and as for this player character I'll use this uh, ch player class all right okay now yeah we have the same character same as before okay so now let's work on our AI character so I'll use this same ch human class as the AI character so first thing I have to do is I need an AI class which I can do with this which I can create like this so in where is it okay I'll go here and we have these all classes here I'll type AI controller okay now under AI controller I have two classes grid path AI controller and D2 AI controller I think this D2 AI controller is a little advanced than this AI controller in terms of finding paths around other characters so I'll use this one okay and I'll call it AI human well okay this we can change the name later if we need right now I'm gonna assign this AI controller here this AI human into our CH human class here right and I'll drag and drop this CH human class here and okay but it does not do anything uh, anything just stand in there because I haven't implemented any behaviors into this AI okay I'll open that and I'll do something like this I'll create no let's not create anything first let's create an interface for the AIs as well so that I can access those functions with the interface okay it should be under blueprints print interface yeah PPI a I cool now I'll define a method here go to location and as for the input I'm gonna need some location I'll call this one target location all right and that's enough for now and I'm here I'll add that interface I just created and implement it okay here go to location all right now I'll use this AI 
move to function here so this is the destination and for the acceptable acceptance radius I'll put something like 200 and if I fail this instead of directly putting the destination here because this destination may be reachable may be unreachable so to handle that kind of a situation for example if I give some location like somewhere above the ground which cannot be worked by the character so to handle that kind of a scenario I'll do something like this get point get random point get random reachable point in radius okay I'll add this one and for the radius I'll add 500 and as the random location I'll put this one and let's try this first if this works if there are any problems we can work on them later okay I know if, if it is success I don't have to do anything if it is failed then I'll make some delay like two seconds and do this again so that uh, assuming that this time I will get a different point so that character will be able to move to that point other than sitting in the same place okay and right and here I'll call go to location at the beginning event begin play and I'll get some random point point in right and for the origin I'll give get control so this is how we access the pawn or the character controlled by this AI class and I'll get the position of that character like this get actor location and I'll put this as the origin and for the radius I'll give something like 2000 okay and right if this is a success I'll again call this part so that it will again add a new target location and character will randomly move here and there okay now now just be if I press play I'm sure that it is not going to work that's because we haven't added a navigation mesh into our world so you can already see this code is more working but character is not moving because there are no nav mesh so I'll add a nav mesh to this world nav mesh bounds volume like this and I'll make it a little larger like this okay and if you press P you can see the navigation mesh generated area so this green area represents the navigable area all right now let's pray play and yeah you can see this character is running around and 
here so he's just running around the world like crazy so instead of now let's do something else so instead of going like crazy let's make him change the running crouching and sprinting like this so yeah now this interface becomes handy here because okay first I'm gonna need a reference to our character so instead of calling that always like this I'll promote this to a variable I'll call it character why can't I use the word character name is already in use okay I'll use the word phone is not also available I'll use controlled character okay oh that's too long I'll just use CH stands for character all right now so I'll do it like this so whenever I call this go to location function Oh no, I'll do it here. CH toggle run and I'll get a branch here, and the other thing is toggle crouch. So since that we have defined these toggle crouching and toggle running methods in our BPI character, we can call them without having to cast this into uh, into this CH human class. So that's why I did it like that. Okay, now everything should be random. Therefore, I'll put a random bool here so character will be sometimes walking sometimes running and sometimes crouching so let's see okay he's running and now he's walking yeah the walking speed does not match with the animation and again walking okay now he's crouching all right so that's our AI character or the NPC character and in the next videos we will further work on improving our AI character and also fixing the issues that we already that we have with the existing systems and after that melee combat Alright, see you in the next video. Goodbye.